What is a childhood friend, a bottle of two million Scoville scale hot sauce, and an awesome retro trailer have in common? You'll find out in this video. We meet up with my childhood friend Peter, his wife Beth, we tour their cute retro trailer and get challenged to a hot sauce battle. What's the hottest hot sauce you've had? Let us know in the comments and make sure you subscribe. We got a lot of amazing content coming. And make sure you watch to the end of the video to see who takes the first sip of milk. I've known Peter and Beth a long time. They are a super fun, cool couple and they've created a trailer that matches their personality. This was a super cute retro style trailer to start with. So why did you guys choose this trailer? And then what things have you done to step it up a notch and add to it and make it your own? Yeah, we knew that we wanted to get a retro or vintage trailer. We looked at actual vintage trailers and that of course is really enticing and really exciting. Not only is that very expensive, but it's also, you know, you're dealing with an actual vintage uh, item which, you know, needs repairs and maintenance and it does not have the technology that some of the modern ones have, uh, conveniences. And so what we decided to do, since we were actually fairly new to camping in general with a trailer, um, is to start out with something like this that is a, you know, newly manufactured but vintage style to see if you could uh, uh, at least have that as our starting point and that's what we ended up doing. So, you know, the, the trailers come vintage inspired and styled and then what we did is we just took it and, and jumped it up a notch. Beth uh, worked her magic and added a bunch of flares and touches to it that really, I think, takes that vintage style and just cranks it up uh, additional steps. So, Well, the first thing we did was replace the bedding. Um, we went a little nuts with the mint, but <laughs> we ordered two uh, sheet sets or bedding sets from Amazon and then we used that fabric for the curtains and comforter and little touches kind of all throughout. The quilt that I have made from old dresses for my grandma when she was sick, we have that in there. So it's kind of so a special homey yeah. touch we take with us. Yeah. And all the valences that were over the windows were actually just plain wood at the time. And so we, um, you can order them from the factory and we did that so it's color matching uh, leather. And so that way you get that extra added pop. And even that small of a thing, um, made a difference. huge difference as far as adding that extra flair and color to it. So. And we, people give us stuff. Yeah. Like now people just know that we do this. They're on the lookout for things. Anything mint, anything of that trailery, color. Trailery, yeah. yeah. doggy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like that. And your glasses. You have camping glasses yes, that I match do. your trailer. <laughs> I love that commitment to decor. And also, Wes had the best coffee he's ever had before when we went camping with you guys. And it had a little picture in the foam. It was amazing. So. Yeah, well, let's be honest, it's not roughing it. It's pretty, yeah. it's pretty nice. We do a pretty good job in there, and, and that's part of it, too. Like, you know, uh, I enjoy getting out and getting into the wilderness. I think it's also nice to have some of those conveniences, too. So um, it, I think it allows us to use it more in that kind of a situation. Too, so. Absolutely. You guys are both avid readers, and Beth, you have a book blog. I was wondering if you had any suggestions for great books when you're camping. I do. <laughs> I, the best part about camping to me is getting out and having some uninterrupted reading time. Yes. So this is one of the books that I would recommend, Una Out of Order. It's very lighthearted, but it's interesting and it'll keep you turning the pages. Uh, also, if you're <laughs> if you're into fantasy novels, I would recommend The Ten Thousand Doors of January. It's just a really, really unique idea. Never read another book like it. Or if you want something more serious. Uh, Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna or anything by Kristen Hanna because she's always amazing. Awesome. I'm going to take some notes. <laughs> and I remember you saying that you guys like to sit up in the front booth and read books if it's ever raining out. You guys like to camp at the coast a lot. So. Yes. Sounds so lovely. Yeah, one of our favorite sites is right on the ocean and that way it doesn't matter if it's sunny, if it's raining, whatever, you still got that ocean view and you can just sit there and we were surprised that how um, some of the more modern trailers, how um, soundproof they are actually. And so you actually, I mean, you still hear the ocean, but it's much more subdued than I thought it was going to be. And it actually really makes for just a nice, very relaxing time. Mm -hmm. You guys have the most adorable dog, dog ever, Penny. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any tips for camping with dogs? I have a couple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for one. I would always keep your dog leashed. Everyone says their their dog is friendly, but we have learned that that does not always translate super well. And I think a good outdoor dog bed is oh, an okay. absolute must because she just comes everywhere with 
this. We're sitting outside, she's outside. We're inside, she's inside. Yeah. The thing we've learned is that trailer people are dog people. Like yes. probably nine out of 10 people have dogs with them and most of them are very, very good and well behaved and they love it and just such a blast. So having a dog is just awesome, right? It's when uh, you know, every once in a while you'll have one that, you know, they just get a little feisty or whatever, but they usually are very, very good. So. And Peter, you're a tech guy. Do you have any tech tips for camping? Yeah, I mean, uh, camping, of course, you're trying to get away from nature, out into nature and away from society and work and whatnot. Unfortunately, I do think, you know, in today's world, unfortunately, it's hard to completely um, um, remove yourself from that and unplug. But I think uh, there's times where it's actually really valuable. So um, there's been times where, you know, I would have had to have gone back to work or, uh, you know, gone and done the work and come back. And so we've uh, set up a couple different things. We bought a, a very uh, a strong cell phone uh, boosting system at the tower uh, that we can install that actually does a really good job of picking up signals um, and so it works really well to be able to have some connection if you need it but if you don't want to use it you don't have to use it and then you're still uh, pretty separated. The, um, we're actually on the waiting list and we can't wait for it but eventually we're going to be getting Starlink um, and once we have that then you'll have full setup with Wi-Fi and all that and uh, they're supposed to have it set up so you can have it even while you're traveling in the RV so that'll be great. And where's the first place you're going to go when you can go off-grid or Go further away. We, she's never been to Crater Lake, and so that's where we're gonna go. I think we really want to go. <laughs> Perfect. So I know you guys use your trailer for other things too. What are some of the ways that you guys use it? Well, the the wild thing about this trailer, by the way, is we bought this literally the week before COVID hit. I would say in March of two years ago, and so at that time, that wasn't even a th discussion that was going on. And then the world shut down, right? And so uh, from that, this became the one way you could get out and do things and go see people and whatnot. Um, the other thing that's been very interesting in the last year and a half is that we also use it as a way, as kind of a little mini guest retreat uh, for people that come to visit. Uh, my dad will come; he'll stay with us to help us with projects, and he has his own little place to hang out and sleep in. Um, the other thing though that's happened in the last year is we had uh, very large wildfires that came through that we had to evacuate and it was one of those things where we didn't even think about it at the time but this is a, an incredible thing to have any kind of trailer. We had it set up ready to go with food, supplies and we literally just hooked up and left. And the idea behind that being is yeah we had people that would offer to stay and you know, stay with them and that kind of thing but having that stability and having your own little space made a world of difference. And then in the last uh, year and a half we also had a really bad ice storm. We lost power for two weeks and to be able to have have a uh, trailer like this uh, available and set up with battery systems I think really helps. Um, we are going to be installing solar in this in the next two weeks uh, so the idea behind that is we can go completely off-grid if we need to and if we were to have that happen again we could we could you know su survive and be pretty comfortable in that regard. So I think that's a lot of the alternative uses people don't think about when they buy trailers um, and like I said the odds of us getting this trailer the week before COVID was just a total fluke and it just kind of uh, worked so out well. very well. <laughs> yeah. so. So where can people get in contact with you? Um, don't contact me. <laughs> <laughs> you can contact me on Instagram. <laughs> at, at baby got book by Beth or uh, my book review blog is bookreviews.babygotbook.com. Thank you, Peter and Beth, for letting us see your beautiful trailer. And thank you to Gorilla Dirt for the collaboration gear. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and happy camping. All right, so the first one, yeah, make sure you're all going the right way here. This one? Yep, this is the classic. It's actually made by the Hot Ones company. Okay. And walk in the park on this one. 24 in Scroville. <laughs> 24 Scoville, so what's uh 2400. 2400. Mm. So what would be lower than that? Well, Cholula, uh, the Cholula, or you said uh, Tapatio is about a thousand. Okay. Scoville. So really good. good, right? Mm -hmm. Good flavor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any heat to you? No milk needed yet. Mm -hmm. Right? Doing good? Chocolate milk. <laughs> chocolate milk. <laughs> hey, chocolate milk is good. Yeah, I mean, I think you're, you're going to add some more. <laughs> I'm Seem to be handling just fine. Yeah. yeah. yeah He's right. a cake. Walk in the park. This is a walk in the park, mm -hmm. you guys. Come on. All right, let's go to the next one. So this is Jolla Pepper. Not actually that much farther. It's only like 2400 Scoville as well. Jolly pepper, that's this one, right? Yep, and this one's kind of a cream base. It's actually, it almost is, it has a cooling effect. It really it's just yummy. cools your mouth down. So, cheers. Cheers. That's good. Yeah. I, really I think like my piece mouth. of chicken was too big. Yeah, you <laughs> taste I it? I can't taste it. <laughs> I, I went really mild on these. That was good. So far, so good. Yeah. Good yeah. Okay. What, what rating was that one? About the same, actually. Okay. It's about 24 hours, go, go, give or take. 
Okay, so the next one is actually my personal favorite. I have it on my eggs every day. It's Los Calientes, also made by the Hot Ones Pepper Company Hot Sauce. I can't believe you're letting them have this one. I know. This is, I, I eat this every day. <laughs> this is a good one. Well, you <laughs> notice I hardly put any on there. Just because I was worried they were going to quit already. So I was like, I better, I better not. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. How hot is that one? You, um, this I one. Can I can feel that. One. <laughs> this one's a little more. I think it's about. Uh, I think I can't remember. Like thirty-five thousand, 40, forty thousand. Mm-hmm. But it's got a good flavor. I like it. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. On eggs, like mm-hmm. money. That would be good. So good. eggs would be so good. good. See, you're That's doing just a good fine. flavor. You're doing just fine. <laughs> That's this one. All right. Haven't touched your milk. Look at that. Mm-hmm. You're already better than DJ Khaled. Yeah, <laughs> literally a beat DJ Khaled, which isn't difficult, but okay. <laughs> All right, next one. Next one. I'm not this done is, chewing yet. This is ginger goat. We're gonna kick it up a bit. Um, one of my favorites as well has pineapple in it. So it's basically okay. like eating a pineapple. Pineapple, it could be wrong, right? That's a. Uh, sure when you started with pineapple? When did you start lying? I am not. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 <laughs> Mom, you guys are doing good. She's but, doing great. Look at her. Uh, but th- because of the mm. K- Carolina Reaper. Mm. And also, Pepper Wax. We haven't gotten there yet, buddy. We're getting there. I know. I think you this can one feel has Scotch bonnet, though. That's Scotch bonnet, which is pretty hot mm. stuff. I just did one drop. You like? Hey, look at you! (laughs) Good. You can feel it afterwards. I start feeling it on my tongue. It's funny how like they hit you in different places. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the heat's like right up front. Some of it like it warms you. you Uh, This one Mm -hmm. felt hotter to me for some reason Mm. than that one. Doesn't just where it hits your mouth. This one. Yeah. So far, it's hit my lips, tongue, and throat now. (laughs) (laughs) It's me like right here. I'm like, let's go, let's go, um, fast so so it it will. Um, right. We need a warning for this one. Yeah, so this one's Chocolate Plague. You're going to kick it way up. This is the one of the name of the company that I wasn't sure if I could say for your children. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. You can say okay. it. Okay. So, Pucker Butt Pepper <laughs> Company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. This one doesn't have extract, though, right? No, it doesn't have extract. Very good. Okay. Next. More hotter. But look at this. You're almost done. We're almost practically there. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Hmm. <laughs> like the flavor was right away. Like the flavor on these ones were pretty good, and then that one. Was like, oh, I'll enjoy this. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it seems to be compounding the previous one. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't cancel it. It actually <laughs> mutates it. <laughs> My tongue, it's, your lips. It's yeah, I wouldn't lick your lips. I'd recommend not doing that. I just did that. <laughs> and don't lick your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're using forks because you don't want to get in your head. <sighs> Doing okay though? That one got a little hotter. Yeah. I want to take it. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. I, oh man. You're giving it's in worse. You're giving in to the DJ Khaled. You, you can Some do it. You can do it. Show drink milk the time. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Some people eat like ice cream and lemon and. It is getting worse. Like way worse. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's getting it's worse. It's right there. It's right there. Feel you it can though. take it. Feel it. You got this. And look at this. We're like almost done. Woo! <laughs> 115 degrees out? Gosh. Good thing it's got to breathe. You said you were cold a little bit ago. I'm so. not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it actually does warm you. Right it does um, warm it's actually, that's good. Because you're usually so cold. <laughs> and stuff like that. You, I just you got you, this. this. Yeah. Look at you. What's that one called? Okay. Chocolate plague. Chocolate don't plague. buy that one. Yeah. <laughs> no, just sell. No, the one you really don't yeah. want to buy is this one. I'm afraid for that one. It's. It, here's the thing. It's <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's hot. But <laughs> it is a rite of passage. As soon as you guys are done, you're going to go home. You're going to watch a bunch of these episodes. Don't do them in front of the kids. There's a lot of cussing. But, uh, <laughs> but, but like every single person does this. It's been on the show since day one. Um, these sauces all change out each season. Guys, and this is the sauce that's that, one that they stays. keep there. Because... Um, not going away. <laughs> it, it's got well, see, here's the other thing. If we go now, it's better because you're already spiced out. Let's do it. Right? It's true. You're not going to make true. it worse. Okay. Uh, man, why is your drop so small? Mine's big. Yeah, his was a little bigger. I missed. Yeah, well. No, no, come on. Come on. Eat it. <laughs> Ready? Cheers. 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 Freaking. Ah. Mm, it. It's just Try not to. Go. How are we doing? Yeah, it just tastes like acid, right? It's terrible. terrible. Doesn't taste good at all. <laughs> How can I chew without my tongue is this, in my mouth? Is this illegal? You have yeah. to buy this on the black market? 
trying to eat it on the side so it doesn't uh, touch my tongue. Uh, I tried to eat it like a duck. I'm <laughs> 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 chewing it. I'm down the hatch. Don't lick your lips. Don't lick your lips. Mm, oh, last, get down. Last oh. one. Last one. My lips are burning. I need some milk. Lips are burning. Lips are burning. Mm. Oh, he went milk. Look at you. You beat him. Uh, you beat him. He went milk. Uh, I needed. So stay, the milk. I the stay, milk. I need to stay conscious. The milk helps you like him right away, but then as soon as it goes away, it doesn't. It doesn't. It. Mm. It kind of lingers. You know what I mean? Holy cow! It's the last one. Look, oh, you're doing it. Last. How you stop <laughs> melting? Because you're cold. You're, you're fucking see this I head. know. Uh. You're freaking hot. You guys are like. You totally got this. Calm, 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 calm. Right now. Woo. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So if you watch the show, the last one, it's the last dab. He usually starts doing like this. And the reason why we're doing this, we gotta shake it up a little bit. We're gonna get nice and nice and sugar. Wait, what? No, I just want the top <laughs> layer of the se- not just, I don't want the sediment. This is this is mm. take a drink and just hold it in your mouth for yeah. a second. Don't do it, don't take a drink. Don't do it. Don't do it. You got this. You got this. Look at us. We got this. These bunch are wussies over here. Come on, come Mom, on. You're almost there. Last one. Mom took so, a drink. Not yet. No. So we call this the last. This is the last dab. We call it the last dab because it's tradition to put a little extra on this last piece. A little extra. Yeah. <laughs> now because this one's thick, we actually end up using a little bit of a, a tool to help us do that. The technical term is poking stick. So if you guys want to maybe bring your plates over, I'll help you with this. I'll sit. Yeah, I'm good. Oh. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. You're, you, you're, you're almost there. I thought I could yes, just get yes, the, yes. the essence of it without actually having it on there. Just smell it. Easy. Yeah. It Easy, Peter. Yeah. Are you sure it's not just a yellow jacket no. you put on it? <laughs> I know. Look at that. That seems like a lot. Get away. <laughs> That's plenty. No, it's not. It's plenty. That's plenty. There we go. Oh, man. Mm. See, look at that. What I... are you doing over there? Chewing you guys on. Go, Mom. Go, Dad. Go, Mom. <laughs> you got this. Ooh. All right, you guys. Okay, now you'll you'll immediately notice the difference on this one. Yeah, it's hot, but here's the thing: it has flavor. Like, this is different than the other one. It's hot the flavor. How much I got on there? Right? How much hotter? What is this one? This one's it's not hotter than the bomb. More really? Still, but not yeah, if you can handle the hot bomb, you can handle this one. Okay. Okay. What was the Scoville that the hottest one? The one we just had? The one we just had is actually about 130,000, but it's because it has extract. That's what's so oh, hot. Okay. Extract yeah, is no, just no, pain. No, no, no. <laughs> <All right. laughs> one more question. No. Mm. She has flavor. Eight. Right? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> I, all I taste is lava. <laughs> That's how I am after the bomb. Mm. I can't taste anything. Oh, you'll feel me. My lips. I feel like they're swollen. <laughs> it's a naturally based on lip. You guys are changing color. No, just let it. Just let it. <laughs> oh, I see there's a rainbow shooting out. <laughs> just let it happen. Just let it wash over Where you. Where am I? What year is this? Is he crying? Yeah, oh, no. gosh. I, that one tasted hey, better. Right? right? It, it has right. a better flavor. You're hot. Ooh, hey, I did it. She just did it. Oh man, <laughs> she did Pepper X. <laughs> you didn't even have any milk yet. She doesn't have any milk. What? <laughs> Good job, oh, you guys. Did it. Yeah. Woo! Made it all oh, the way God. through. No milk. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna drink it all. <laughs> no, yeah. All right. Totally fine. Uh, what did I do with the milk? Oh, <laughs> cheers, everybody. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Good job, you guys. Good job. <laughs> Thank you guys, that was a lot yeah. of fun. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. We highly recommend all these. These are actually, this one is the best for those who are wondering. <laughs> <laughs> if you need to start a fire, we recommend this That's one. That's right, campfire. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. So here we are, one week later. You're still <laughs> drinking that. <laughs> one week later. <laughs> one week later. Still eating hot sauce. Still trying to recover from this. How many cups of milk have you had? <laughs> Who bought a cow and it's empty? <laughs> <laughs> you did it though, man. <laughs> Holy smoke. But this, these are the two we didn't try. 357 mm. and Mega Death Sauce and Liquid Rage. Liquid, liquid, liquid <laughs> Rage. So, would these two be equivalent to the bombs they're worse? They're, they're up there though. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I think when we had the last time, the 3 to 7, in my opinion, was hot. Like, it's not the bomb, but it's up there. Um, this one, I it was doable. It was hot, but it was doable. But I, so I'd probably terrible, for huh? these three, I would put them like this is the hottest. This is the in there. Which but I would, would, but I would put them probably like. Well, I'd put that. It would be like this. So this is gonna be your. your That's gonna be the proper lineup. Yeah. Like if you were just going for spice, like spice you out level, it'd probably be that. All right. Which makes sense. There's the most in that one. Yeah. 
Well, like I said, the, the actual Scoville's on this one is not very high. It's only 135,000, but it's because of that extract. These all three have extract, and that's what gets you. Yeah, look the way it separates. It just looks yeah. evil. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it totally does. Not to be trusted. Anything called liquid rage is should be a red flag. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, you should try this one because it cooled us down. So that one was good. has reached like peer pressure level 2,000. Mm -hmm. When we went yeah. on vacation with my family, there was a jalapeno popper. The dad was like, oh, this is a, a little better than I expected. I don't think I'm going to eat it anymore. And he's just coming off chemo, so his tongue is really sensitive. Oh, so we were like, okay, yeah. fine. So then Petrie started eating it. And he, you're like, it's really not that bad. It's so hot. we all, you know, take a bite, but whatever. My mom is so not a spice person. So Petrie starts saying, Taking out his wallet, I'll give you $20 to take a bite of this. <laughs> I'll give you $50. Wait, he got $200. I literally put 200 bucks out on cash and she would not do it. And my sister's like, I'll eat it, I'll eat it. <laughs> like, we know you'll eat it. I didn't know that was an option. I should have held He did it for free. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Still burning. But it's feel better? Feel better? I might have had the milk first, but you've had two glasses of milk. So. <laughs> that counts for something, right? Nope. No. No. You can definitely use it for arguments. <laughs> do you want to try some hot sauce? A hundred percent not. A hundred percent not. Play over and over again.